Pledge of Allegiance led by Mr. Slaughter. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for blessing our lives. We thank you for this day. We thank you for the new opportunities before us in the year 2023. Let us always be focused on the needs of our community, showing mercy to those that need mercy, and the willingness to listen to those in our community, and all for one purpose, to glorify you and better our community in the decisions we make. May the decisions made today be pleasing to you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'll call the January 9th organizational meeting of the Henry County Board of Supervisors to order. I'd like to welcome uh, any of our visitors that we have here today. Remind you, if you want to be part of our agenda at any of our regular meetings, you'll need to contact the county administrator's office at least seven days in advance to be placed on the agenda. This meeting has, uh, as the title of it, uh, primarily one purpose, and that's the organizational meeting, uh, and the agenda items uh, we cover are not unlike what we have covered in previous years. I will accept a motion uh, if the board so desires that we allow the county administrator to <coughs> chair the meeting until an election of the chairperson and vice chairperson is done. So moved. Second. Have a motion and a second. All in favor? It is uh, six zero, Jennifer, uh, Mr. Wagner. Thank you. We will now consider nominations for the position of chairperson for the board supervisors. And just as a reminder, a nomination does not require a second. And after we've had adequate time to receive all nominations, then we'll call for the vote. So are there any nominations for chairperson? Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that re reappoint Jim Adams for the chairman. Uh, for 2023 to 2024. We have a nomination for Mr. Adams. Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Hearing none, I'll call for the vote. All in favor of Mr. Adams serving as chairperson of the Board of Supervisors for 2023, let it be known by raising your right hand. Congratulations, Mr. Adams. Thank you. I will now open the floor for nominations for vice chairperson for the Board of Supervisors. Do I have any nominations? Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion for Joe Bryant. I have a nomination for Mr. Bryant for vice chairperson. Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? If there are no other nominations, I'll call for the vote. All in favor of Mr. Bryan as vice chairperson for the Board of Supervisors, raise your right hand. Motion carried. Congratulations to Mr. Adams, Mr. Bryant, and I'll turn the meeting back over to you, Mr. Adams. Thank you. Briefly, I, I would like to thank the board for their support. Uh, this is an outstanding board that uh, always prepares for a meeting. You do your background work. You. Uh, listen to the voices of your constituents. Uh, you have a vision for what your districts not only look like presently, but uh, what uh, they may become and uh, uh, stay on uh, track with uh, things such as infrastructure, uh, water and sewer maybe, uh, Deborah, <laughs> uh, some other things in other districts. Uh, we all have some of the same needs and concerns and it's great that we can collectively listen to each other and try to uh, work toward the goals of that. Thank you uh, for your confidence that you've uh, shown in me. Mr. Brown, would you? Yeah, you know, and I kind of echo your comments too, uh, Mr. Adams. Uh, you know, it is an honor to serve as vice chair uh, in, in the supervisors. Um, I don't do a whole lot because Mr. Adams takes care of just about 99% of the stuff that needs to be taken care of. So that goes to show, you know, uh, to me, um, how good a uh, chairperson he is. 
and uh, you know some sometimes the old saying is you know if, if it ain't broke don't fix it uh, and in some cases that's true and I think that's the case with mr. Adams that he's you know he has served uh, uh, with honor uh, the Board of Supervisors for the last you know several several years and he's did an excellent job and uh, you know I, I look and see bright things in the future and uh, I know that mr. Adams worked real hard to see that the sure. county you know stands for excellence and you know that's why uh, I, I like to be second in command so thank, thank you, you. With that, we'll take up the next item on our agenda, and that is a setting of regular board meeting dates for 2023. Uh, the board has those dates as part of your uh, background uh, material. Are there any conflicts or uh, anything that needs tweaking? And again, uh, the December 19th date is possible that that might change a little closer to that, but uh, for now, it's uh, showing as uh, December 19th. Right, week four. If there is uh, no adjustments that may need to be made for that, I will uh, entertain a motion that we approve the meeting dates for 2023. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion to approve the, approve the meeting dates for 2023 as presented. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor? It is 6-0, uh, Jennifer. Next item, agenda item number eight, adoption of the board's 2023 bylaws. And uh, as you will note in those, uh, there's only, I think, one strike through. That's, that's correct. Uh, in section 2.4, paragraph four, staff is recommending a change from 20,000 to 25,000 that requires majority board approval for those appropriations. And the reason for that change is to make it Align with the appropriations resolution, which is already in effect, makes the two documents show the same dollar amount. Is there any items uh, in regard to the bylaws that uh, need uh, discussion or tweaking? If not, uh, as it's presented to you in your board packet, I'll entertain a motion that we adopt the uh, bylaws of 2023 as presented to us. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that we adopt the uh, bylaws with the change, one change. Second. Have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor? It is 6 0, uh, Jennifer. Um, agenda item number nine a consideration of the fiscal year 2023 2024 budget calendar. Mr. Wagner. Uh, Attached in your pack packet is a proposed calendar in preparation for the fiscal year 2023-24 county budget. The calendar provides for preparation, adoption, and appropriation of the budget in accordance with the deadlines provided by the Code of Virginia. Um, it's pretty sh comparable to what we've done in the past. Uh, departments will have their budget request back to me by February 10th, and then we will um, meet with department managers and outside organizations as needed to develop a draft budget document presentation to you on April 4th and we have a work session scheduled for April 6th and then the other dates they are listed as part of the process. You also note uh, we've done this in the past as well at your regular February board meeting. We have it tentatively scheduled to meet jointly with the school board to discuss their budget request on February 28th at 5 p.m. in between our 3 p.m. and 6 p.m. session. Okay, thank you for uh, uh, explaining in detail uh, the process of that. Um, you've had an opportunity to review the uh, proposed budget calendar. What is the desire of the board? Mr. Chairman, I make a motion to adopt the budget calendar for fiscal year 2023-24. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor? Is 6-0, uh, Jennifer. Agenda item number 10, a consideration of a date for the board's annual planning session. Mr. Wagner. The board has held an annual planning session for several years now, usually in late January or early February. Uh, the sessions has provided an opportunity for the board to look back at the opportunities and challenges of the past year and establish priorities for the upcoming fiscal year. 
And staff has picked uh, three dates there for your consideration. If you're uh, amenable doing, to doing a planning session, uh, we would be <coughs> appreciative of you deciding the date, and we'll accommodate that either <coughs> Monday, February 6th, Tuesday, February 7th, or Thursday, February 9th. And we're currently looking, I uh, hadn't finalized the location yet, but we were hoping to use the Bassett Train Station Event Center as a, a meeting place. Um, as you know, over the last several years, we used community development block grant and our small towns collaborative to, to renovate that building. And a lot of work's going on in Bassett, so I thought it'd be a good facility for us to hold that planning session. But I'm still waiting on confirmation for the date. Uh, so I'll let you know the location at the next board meeting where we'll have it. And what uh, time be, what, three o'clock? Uh, I would suggest we could, uh, unless you have a, a longer agenda or yeah. something, I think from four to seven should be adequate and we would plan for a meal in that as well. <clears throat> okay, is there a date that uh, works for anyone uh, better than, uh, or either maybe ask it another way, a date that does not work <coughs> I prefer not to do February 7th, but if we choose February 7th, I can work out my conference. That's something to do. Yeah. So, which date? Uh, the 6th or the 9th is great, but if the 7th, 7th is a date that's chosen, I can work out my conflict. Yeah. All right. Uh, 6th is great for me on Monday, but that's... 6th work for uh -huh. everyone? Okay. Uh, I'll take that in the form of a motion if someone would. Uh, I'll make a motion that we make uh, February the 6th is our uh, date for our annual planning session. Second. From 4 to 7. And a second. Any discussion? All in favor? It is 6-0, uh, Jennifer. That concludes the items of our open session. I will entertain a motion to go into closed meeting if someone will cite. Uh, what is allowed by the Code of Virginia, uh, allowing us to go into closed meeting. Mr. Chairman, make a motion that the board convene in closed meeting as permitted under the following sections of the Prison Information Act. 2.2.37.11.87 for discussion between legal matters. 2.2.37.11.8.11 for discussion of special awards. Second. I have a motion and second. All in favor? The 6-0, Jennifer. And for it should be a very brief meeting. We can congregate in this small meeting room just down the okay. hall here if you'd All like. Right. We'll just stay downstairs in the small meeting room.